Hi folks, Captain Amazing here, bringing you the Major Miner, a stable HV mining machine. Gone are the days where you'll be flipping around uncontrollably, cursing your luck that you should find yourself in such an untenable machine. No, my friends, we have achieved stability with a brilliant new layout of hover pads. Oh, but you're gonna have to move ahead to the 10 minute mark if you wanna see that directly. First, the proof that this works. We're gonna mine this silicon deposit up ahead. And it's gonna go fast. And it's gonna go sweet. And it's gonna go smooth. And you're all gonna want your own major miner. angled up and holding steady <coughs> we've angled up and clearing out the silicon oh yes sweet juicy silicon ore switch to first person here for a bit better view As you can see, our pitch is being held steady by the RCS units. All I'm doing is tapping my W key to move forward and holding down the mouse drill and wiggling the mouse around a bit. That's where the motion is coming from. But right now we're pointing up at about a 30 degree angle. And steadying out to drill out the silicon. Total control with the mouse or the number or the arrow keys on your uh, keyboard. W key to move forwards, nice and easy. Whoops, falling backwards. But not tipping over is the important thing, my friends. Here we are back to drilling. Nothing too exciting to watch here other than the rock steady control with which the major miner eats up this silicon deposit. You too can have your own major miner. It'll be available in the theme workshop and the Empyrean workshop shortly after I upload this video. It's point and shoot, my friends. Nothing to it. The way hovercraft mining is meant to be. Oh, there we broke through. <laughs> There's the sky peeking through. Now we could keep going forwards and out that hole, we could go back out the hole we came in by, or we could just show off how awesome this drill works for a minute, and I think that's what we're going to do. Oops. Level it out with the O key. Nudge our way forward with the W key, and back to work. Not particularly sure why I'm gonna keep drilling here, other than to show off. Now before I started this gig, I came into we're, we're inside a hill right now with water on the west side. And as I came in around the south side of the hill, I decided when it was time to leave, we would drill out to the west. So I'm just gonna putter around here for another minute or two. There's the tunnel we came in by. Wipe this out a bit right here. Why? Because we can. Because I can point at what I want and mine. There's no tricks here, no mods, no special nothing. It's just a revolutionary arrangement of hover pads that allows you total control. And probably half a dozen RCS units in there. So we've carved out this nice big hole that we don't need or want. Again, that's the tunnel we came in by. All right, 
let's let's point west and get out of here. Okay, pointing west, angling upwards. And here we go. So I'm kind of down at the bottom of a little hole here. It's more than the hovercraft can hover over, but we included those jumpy hover pad dealy thingies on the bottom of this machine. And while we can't go forwards here, we have other options. Jumpy hover pad dealy thingies, and here we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <clears throat> Zero it out again. Ah, yeah, it's nice and level. And point it up the hill. And go away. It's just a finger on a mouse right now, not using any other keys. A W key to move forwards, nice and steady up the hill. The pitch is being held steady by RCS units, not by engines or uh, hover pads. So once I set that pitch, it's steady, and I'm just moving up the hill, W key, and finger on the mouse. This is predictable, steady hovercraft mining the way it was meant to be. Now we'll zip back to base. We're only about a mile from base, and uh, it's nice and well lit there. We'll be able to uh, see the details, and I will show you the magic of the hovercraft placement. If you want to skip ahead directly to the 10 minute mark, You'll save yourself a few minutes of watching me drill. Though you gotta admit, that's some sweet, sweet drilling action right there, my friends. Okay, we've broken through. We're out. Let's just clean up this edge a little bit. Make it easier to pop out of the hole. Water's to the west, and uh, let's see, we're coming up on the hill here, that's towards base. And, uh, okay, here we go. And we're in the water. <laughs> nice. Rookie maneuver. Okay, here it is, Elyon. We need a propeller attachment for situations like this. Propeller attachment. I'm underwater. Moving at a stunning 0.7 meters per second. Sorry about this, folks. This was not part of the plan. I thought hovercrafts stayed above water. I do love the water effect on the windshield, though, so props to whoever put that in the game. Well done. Put the windshield drops guy on the propeller issue. Make it so. Okay, back on land. There's the hill we just fell down. Didn't realize quite how steep it was, but we ended up popping out right at the top of the thing. Back to base. Whoops. A little too much camber there. And here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, it is just a hovercraft. It does still crash into rocks. Okay, there's my base in the distance. You can see the lights. I remodeled the Titan. I renamed it the Teton 3. And if people like this video, maybe we'll do a flip this house style walkthrough of my Titan base here. Whoops. Okay, back here in the Skunk Works. 
we'll level it out, and we'll uh, level it out and take a good look at it. For those of you who skipped ahead to the 10 minute mark, we're back in base, and I'm going to illustrate, uh, show you what happens when the yellow paint can explodes. There will be an incident report on that. I present to you the major minor one. Nothing exceptional about the drill arrangement. Three across the bottom, two on the width, and one up above. Stuck a couple of Gatling guns on there just in case you run into some spiders while you're out in the field. Nothing particularly exceptional about this. Except the paint job. I gotta say, that looks pretty sharp. <laughs> Okay, here's what you wanted to see. There are no hover pads. Wait a minute, did he just skunk me into watching a 10 minute video? No, folks, I wouldn't do that to you. There it is. The one hover pad. One hover pad. The trick to hover pads, my friends, is that they work against each other. The more you have, the less stable your vehicle becomes in uneven terrain, as they're constantly pushing and pulling to find a stability that they'll never have. Let's turn on our center of gravity and have a look the yellow ball is your center of mass the green ball is your axis turning point but as you can see the yellow ball is located exactly above the one hovercraft pad this keeps your machine centered and balanced at all times your RCS units are what provide the stability that's why you can put, leave yourself at pitch and your RCS units hold you at pitch. That's the magic. Not more, RC, not more hover pads, less hover pads. Besides that, pretty standard arrangement. Harvest cargo box full of the silicon we just mined. An ammo box for our Gatling guns. And uh, the detector unit. What do you call that thingy? The radar -y dealy thingy? On this side, standard medic unit, cargo box, refrigerator, and O2 setup. Nothing particularly exciting. The entire magic to this machine is that the one hovercraft pad is located directly under the center of gravity. Now it took a little bit of finagling, moving weight back and forth on the machine to get it that closely centered, but um, once you get it there, as you can see, it works sweet. It looks sweet. It is sweet. It's the major minor one. I'll be uploading the blueprints to the workshop right after I upload this video. Please enjoy. <laughs> 